Hello, my name is Kark City 2 and welcome back to our Great Tech New Horizons Season 2. I am just crafting up 2,085 Awakened Draconian Coil Blocks here for our dimensional, Dimensionally Transcendent Plasma Forge. Um, I have gone ahead, got everything for this. And, uh, boy, these, uh, 20 optical mainframes, holy cow, uh, kind of, uh, <laughs> underestimated how many resources go into 20 of those. Uh, as we can see, 528,000 diamonds, 91,000 nether stars, 110,000 cosmic neutronium. Yeah, these are, uh, they're quite expensive. And part of the problem is, I think the the um, these things, the optically compatible memory, uh, these are just really expensive at this point. No, I've mentioned this a couple times, but yeah, you only get two, and it needs a memory stick. It needs infinity screw. So, you know, as you uh, the more you go up the line of the optimal circuits, the, the crazier it gets. But, uh, yeah, I've gone ahead and got everything for that. Um, I do have the quantum thing. I just haven't placed it in that chat. Yes. Now I have done a couple little things here and there. I have added two more Vulcanuses. Um, I have upgraded these to UEV power. Uh, so I am just uh, passiving the cosmic neutronium as much as possible here. I mean, not as much as possible. Obviously, we can do like 20 more of these if we wanted. Um, but these are producing cosmic neutronium uh, 32 every 12 seconds, like in total. Um, each of these does 8 so times four is 32 every 12 seconds. So I'm just kind of letting that that chug up as we as we go. Um, I do need to I keep mentioning this, but I think I'm going to go through all our uh, ingots recipes and figure out which ones actually need Oganesson or a fluid, and those that don't really need it. Probably just throw it in the the circuit of one. Yeah, because uh, I would like to do Oganesson, but the problem right this second is I might have like, you know, 10,000 dark steel or something that would just like destroy my uh, surplus of Oganesson when I don't really need it. The recipe might only be a few a few ticks in the regular thing because it has been uh, so sped up. Like I mentioned, tungsten steel, for example. Yeah, you can do it with the Oganesson. It's 37 seconds. But if you just do it in a one, even though it says 137 seconds, this thing is so sped up that it's it's literally a tick. So there's absolutely no need to use another thing but i need to go through them all and there is three interfaces worth of uh ingots I should just i know i'm probably gonna remove some but throw that in there just so it shows up so yeah gotta do that i would like to kind of rearrange how i did the cabling this is absolutely terrible over here this in the middle too kind of screws everything up but oh well uh so yeah did that and that is kind of where we're at i did fix a few things with our chemistry a lot of these things uh until we like run out i haven't like noticed i know mi nitration mixture wasn't really working anymore in the processing array uh so i switched it out for a a mixer and then did you know big input hatches and all that stuff but some of these like 
I don't think polyvinyl chloride is running because probably because um it's probably because there's like a, a fluid that needs to like set to void but i just haven't gone through it all molten poly uh, polyvinyl chloride is not really something that we use a lot of um so crafting that up and then we will do the probably these one of these uh it's gonna take me some time to craft this up just because there's so many um but like nothing's like too crazy there's just a lot of them um and i think these these might be the most yeah. these pico waves oh i set up these pico wafers um, these R ones do require well, they don't necessarily require ASOC wafers, but you get sixteen from one of these as opposed to one to one. So I just went ahead and did that recipe. So I got those all set up. Yeah, so I'm just gonna go around and craft everything up for this insane multi block. Which, by the way, just looks like so cool. Uh, I haven't quite figured out where, like, where the input and all that stuff goes. I, uh, does it have to? I'm noticing them like on these. Can they, like any of them do that? I don't know. I don't think I've actually looked at this. Yeah, it doesn't really say. That's kind of something we'll. Um, we'll see when we put down the the things. I'm assuming. See, it's hard to click on that. Yeah, we can just go up the line. What does that say? Eleven. It's kind of hard to see. Yeah, tier eleven. All right, cool. All right, well, let me just keep doing this. I don't know if there's really much else I can talk about the base here. I've just, uh, anytime there's a little bit of an issue with a machine not running because it needs to, I need to put like the void thing on. But other than that, everything is just kind of chugging along. So I'm just crafting up the 240 iron singularities. And I... It's being bottlenecked by this, and I don't know if there's any other way I can get it go faster. This is 243 stacks. Um, yeah, I don't know if I can. I increase the size of the thing to like 16 blocks at once, and yeah, I don't know. Is there something that's like more than 200? Yeah, like, even the super buses don't. These are 250 stacks. So, yeah, I don't, I mean, I could do 10 stacks of iron, but I don't, I really don't know if there's, like, can I speed that up? I guess we could. I guess if I really wanted to, I'm not going to, but, like, I could set it to pull iron ingots in from like an interface buffer thing uh but i don't want to turn all my iron into blocks but like if i put iron ingots and then pulled it directly in i could probably probably do that um crafting up 209 singularities isn't something i do very often <laughs> uh but and like besides we're like crafting other stuff so it doesn't matter if this is lagging a bit. I am crafting up the 120 dimensional bridges. Uh, I'm crafting them up uh, as I'm just kind of crafting up in parts. Just kind of curious, does that? No, it only drops to 248. I was kind of curious if maybe that was the, the bottleneck. I did uh, increase all my crafting. I don't know if I mentioned that. They're now 20 million each. I did 16 million storage crafting. Um, because when I tried to do 120 dimensional bridges all at once, it was like 35 million bytes. So I'm crafting it up in parts. 
Um, just thought I'd mention that. So, yeah, I really should speed this part up over here. I don't kind of avoid using Bioware and Wetware. But I really should, <laughs> I really should speed this up. This is so slow, the crafting up the stem cells. Yeah, it's only LUV. I'll do that right now. I'll just switch out. Yeah. I'll switch that out for a UV energy edge, probably. We have... Oh. Yeah, I was like, yeah, we have tons of UV energy. Is this, like, painted? Is that why it's not stacking? Yep. It's like, why isn't that one stacking? All right, and I think we have enough power over here. Ooh, that's only 16 amps. Uh, I think we'll be good. Even if everything's running, I don't think we're pulling that much power. Again, this is probably one I should... We are pulling a bit. Okay, just one amp is not going to hurt this. Uh, bring this in with a a laser and then split off as needed. But uh, I'll have to, I'll probably, if I end up doing that, I'll just, I'll move all this. It's just a big, it's a big kind of undertaking. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. We'll be back. Okay, so I went ahead and got a new multi-block. And that is the electric implosion compressor. I was starting to have a hard time keeping up with the it and I could have gotten 50 million more bees and upgraded the thing, but I just decided let's go ahead and upgrade to the electric implosion compressor, which just uses power instead of it and and uh, pretty easy to craft up just some these transformer wires, which is like copper solid things. Uh, the only kind of big gate with this is it does need UEV power. So it is gated pretty heavily. Although UEV isn't even that, not even like that end game anymore. It used to be like super gated. Uh, and yeah, I just basically replaced the other one. And there it is. Um, you do need, just in case you don't know, the this is this is wrong it, you have to you have to form a three by three block in the center and then when it forms it opens up like that so that is actually that's a little wrong and it does require a maintenance hatch um it also you can either put one on the top one in on the bottom or either or um, i don't actually have one on top i do have a four amp uhv on the bottom though So yeah, the four amp UHV uh, does work on this and that lets me do the UEV power. Now, this wasn't a thing last time I built this, but apparently you can switch out the blocks in the middle and that gives, uh, I think that determines the, how many parallel it does, I think, uh, but these recipes are pretty quick. So I'm not uh, overly, you can see it's, I'm like, I hope it's doing the right thing. Now that I'm just thinking, I'm like, is that actually doing the diamonds? I haven't actually looked. Because usually it does, the other one was doing three at a time. Yeah, three. All right, let me just double check. All right, it actually is doing it. Okay, it was just going so quick that uh, I thought it would be, I thought it would jump. I guess it is going by four. I thought that was going by one. All right, there we go. Well, that's running. Uh, we'll clear out this backlog of diamond and we will be good. Uh, I just wanted to get that up because yeah, we need a ton of diamond moving forward. Um, I could actually do, well, 27 blocks of infinity is kind of expensive. 
Do I even have a... Yeah. What would 27 blocks do? Oh. It's not that bad. <laughs> but, uh... It's not... It doesn't... It, it doesn't matter at this point. Once this clears out, we'll be good. Okay. So there is that. And also it moves. It's like... I feel like it's one of the only multi-blocks that actually has moving parts. All the other ones are just static, but that one actually has moving blocks. I mean, I guess you can sort of count that, but it's not like the actual structure that's doing it. Okay, we are back. I am crafting up these microwave energy transmitter. Oh, we're actually done. I was waiting, uh, relatively expensive with all the emitters, uh, like, okay, not expensive at this point, but just a lot of circuits, basically. Uh, so got that, I got all the ion singularities too. And I think I have, I can't remember if I have all the, the field generators. Um, so I need to craft up some more of, or. Let's see. I have a feeling. Oh, I do have everything. Look at me. All right. We'll get that going. Um, so, yes, that is this part, the dimensional bridges. These are actually not too bad. Those are pretty expensive. Uh, got all the coil blocks. I forgot if I had mentioned that, but uh, we do have all the coil blocks. So, we are chugging along here now i am actually as i am doing that uh doing some little side projects here um one thing i just happened to notice because i accidentally forgot to throw a machine controller in these no longer void they won't run if there is uh no room so yeah the space elevator you don't have to worry about doing all the uh the hatches and the fluid detectors i don't know if that was actually i'm pretty sure before it was voiding it was running and voiding uh, i'm gonna go ahead and say that but uh yeah apparently uh i mean it makes sense everything else has pretty much stopped the voiding thing but uh yeah space elevator as well um you may notice i got molten copper and molten or tritium there uh i am actually going to switch i think i'm going to switch my plasma i love the americia but <laughs> every time i get it set up i like love it and then i'm like yeah yeah it's really not that efficient um so there we go let's lock that so we got our tritium and i got our molten copper um you may notice i'm doing it on the same one because i have kind of run out of room a little bit um, but I wanted to get these set up. I just realized, I think I have another one. Hold on one second. I think I... I think I have, like, tritium back here, don't I? Oh, that's xenon. Is it back here? Yeah. Is that a storage bus? Yeah. All right. So this can actually... I'll just uh, remove this osmium. Unfortunately, these do not stack, so they're actually kind of annoying, to be honest. These fluid cells. The chrome ones do stack, but those don't. All right, I'm just going to pull that off. And, yeah, it's set to methane, I believe. Uh, but I can use it if I need to use it for another one. Uh, so we got our, our tritium in that. Let me go throw this in that thing really quick. So I'm going to get our tritium. Yeah. Uh, I really should do bigger, <laughs> bigger hatches as well. You know what? I have an easier way to do this. We'll just throw it in the output hatch and it'll transfer over. I'm like, that's a pain. Uh, so I'm going to do zinc plasma. Uh, at least zinc plasma, but I think I may actually... There we go. That was way easier than doing what I was trying. See, they don't stack. 
Um, so we got our Zinc Plasma. And if we look at how much power you get from it, uh, 226. Uh, it's not terrible, but Tin Plasma is only 150. So it's not that much better than Tin Plasma, which we were using before it got nerfed. Um, so yeah, uh, you can kind of just, you can kind of gauge how good the... The plasma is by that generator fuels because it's it's kind of like a similar kind of thing so yeah it's a little bit better um than tin plasma but what is much better if we actually mix this with tantalum which we have tons of now we can actually get bismuth plasma if we look at bismuth plasma that's 425 we actually get almost what we're getting from M uh, mericium and the cool thing about this is way, way, way quicker than the Americium that we were doing. Almost three times as fast. So that is actually it's over three times. Is it four times? Yeah, it's four times as fast. If I'm doing the math right, four times as fast as that. Um, so. Uh, if I have all these two turbines running, or all these fusion reactors running, which I probably will, just because they're built. And I kind of love that. I don't know. It looks really cool. Um, I'm thinking maybe using the compact, because it, it is it is so quick in the compact fusion. Um, using that to craft up zinc plasma, and then I will feed all these fusion reactors with the zinc and tantalum. We're basically switch over our plutonium 241 which i have it cut off at the moment um to tantalum and zinc plasma which will go in these is kind of what i'm thinking and then we'll switch over entirely to uh bismuth plasma we'll see if that works um because bismuth is actually one of the best we look at the Yeah, these are all in order of how much food you get out of it. So out of 133, it's ranked, you know, 124. There's a few more. Radon Plasma is another one, but that does require Indium. I did think about that, um, but it's quite a bit slower. So I was thinking Bismuth Plasma. I don't know. It's just kind of something fun. Yeah. And then the ones after that are kind of crazy. Uh, thorium you can do i don't even think some of these the uranium ones don't have a recipe plutonium 241 would be a good one unfortunately it does require the 241 or 239 yeah 241 i think vanadium and lutetium that could actually be really good unfortunately i don't have that a thing for that but uh maybe i don't know I like my super critical steam. I'm going to keep it for as long as possible. Um, what I'm thinking, though, is if we have, we're have we making tons of bismuth, uh, I will craft up another heat exchanger. So that is kind of what I have planned over here. So we'll have two producing super critical steam going into the thing and then feeding turbines. And I will probably craft up a whole another turbine is what I'm thinking. How big is this? Nine, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, I'll have to kind of test how much we get out of it. But what about like we could even do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. I was like, we do three. Yeah, we probably could if we wanted. But, oh my god, can you imagine? <laughs> Three of these producing 250 million EU per tick. It's just so easy compared to that. Uh, maybe when we get the Mark Floor, the Mark uh, Floor Fuel, maybe I'll switch over. The um, It's just kind of a pain, to be honest. Because that fuel requires so much infrastructure over here and stuff. 
All right, anyway, I uh, just thought I would point that out. So I'm gonna use up all this stuff. I'm gonna continue crafting up the stuff for the Dimensional Transcendent Plasma Forge. It's just, uh, yeah, this is a complicated multi-block. It's gonna take me, you know, a few, <laughs> a few real life days of playing to get this crafted up, but uh, we're making headway. We're definitely making headway here. Okay, got the dimensional bridges, all 120 of them. Now I need these two. I think I'll probably do the cheaper one first. This isn't too terrible. Did I need 20, 21? 21. 21, 21. All right, that doesn't... That doesn't feel that bad. Yeah, that doesn't feel bad at all. All right, cool. So, there we'll go. Uh, they do take 20 seconds each, so... <laughs> uh, maybe... You know, we could have done an advanced assembly line. We could have had more assembly lines. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, I will just let the world run while I am doing other things. I can even let it run overnight because uh, I am quite a few episodes ahead right now. So we have plenty of time for it to run. Um, I did. Um, I think what I'm going to do, I've crafted up another yacht tank for zinc plasma. So I just kind of put it right there. It's being crafted up at the moment in the compact fusion. And I think, yeah, once this runs out, I will feed it with tantalum. I'm just kind of waiting down to 500,000. I could pull all this out and uh, fluid solidify it back into ingots or something like that. But I'm like, yeah, we'll just let it run and finish up with the americium i do have this going like as fast as it can to clear out the americium but i mean it doesn't go through it that quick as you can see and plus we're, we're crafting how many do i even have i don't even know how many i have one two three four oh i have 12 fusion reactors i didn't even realize i had that many uh, i just kept adding more and more uh so yeah it's uh it's going to take a while to get through that. I don't know if I'm going to burn through it all before I switch over. Eh. It doesn't really matter. Like switching over to bismuth plasma is not... It's not going to do anything different. It's just we can craft it up much, much quicker than the americium. Like it is, it's still dropping even though we have 12 reactors uh, producing it. The one benefit of this though is it's so easy. It's literally plutonium and hydrogen. Like, it, it's just so easy <laughs> for how much power it gives. Uh, the problem is it's just slow. And I'm like, can we do anything cool with it? Like xenon plasma? It doesn't even have like a... <laughs> okay, I did see this. This is like, I think the best... Like, that one's terrible. I think this is actually the best powered source, the Celestial Tungsten Plasma. Maybe as like a meme, we'll do that in the future, but... Can we even... We can actually get every... Can we get this? I mean, it is hilariously, like, what even is, what even would this recipe be? This would be insane. It does look like we can actually do it, but, uh, I mean, maybe, maybe for the beams. Maybe we'll, we'll do Celestial Tungsten. But, uh, I mean, if we had, like, ten compact fusion reactors, that'd be kind of fun. Uh, but we're kind of getting into, like, craziness here. Um, obviously, we're working towards dimensionally transcendent plasma forge, and then the QFT, and then there is the the forge. I don't know. Yep, there's this one, which helps us. Wait, not that. 
There's like a plasma one somewhere. Transcendent plasma mixer, so that's like another kind of craziness that helps craft up the plasmas that we use in the plasma forge, so that's like its own kind of thing. Um, I think it makes these crazy transcendent catalysts. I think it just makes them way, way easier to craft up. I think from what I've looked. And then I have harmony, but we're talking like a long, long time before we get into this crazy <laughs> multi-block. But I I'm looking forward to it. I am having so much fun in this mod pack. So, in case anyone's ever wondering how am I still playing this after 300 and something episodes, I legitimately have a lot of fun playing this mod pack. Okay, enough talking. I've been, like, going on a bit. Uh, I'm going to continue crafting up the parts I think we... I don't know. Uh, depending on how long those take... I'm pretty sure we're going to get this next episode. It's going to be a jump in real time. But uh, yeah, I think we'll get this crafted up sooner than later. Anyway, that's going to be for today. So thanks for watching and have a good one.